This is one of multiple OSPF videos. I was asked to explain OSPF multiple areas, and this is one of multiple videos helping explain how OSPF works when you have multiple areas configured. Here's a question for you. In this topology, which OSPF router types are you able to identify? As an example, which routers in this topology are area border routers or ABRs? Which router or routers are backbone routers? Which router or routers are internal routers? Which router or routers are ASBRs or autonomous system border routers? So in this topology, we have EIGRP running on the left-hand side. Then we have OSPF area 1, OSPF area 0, and OSPF area 2. An ABR or area border router is a router that has interfaces in multiple areas. So as an example, router 3 is an area border router because it has an interface in area 1 and an interface in area 0. Router 5 is an area border router because it has an interface in area 0 and an interface in area 2. Router 2 is an autonomous system border router because it has an interface configured in a different routing protocol, in this case EIGRP, and it has an interface configured in OSPF. So router 2 is an ASBR, or autonomous system border router. Router 3 and router 5 are area border routers, or ABRs. Router 4 is a backbone router, or backbone area router. It is a router with interfaces in the backbone area. Now routers can take on multiple roles. So router 3 and router 5 are also backbone routers in that they have interfaces in the backbone or area 0. But if you were asked this question, I would answer that router 3 and router 5 are area border routers. Area border routers always touch the backbone area. Virtual links are out of the scope of the CCNA, but I will discuss how to configure virtual links, which allow you to pull or extend the backbone area across another area. So area zero would be extended across another area such as area one to allow an area border router to have an interface in the backbone area and meet the criteria that an area border router must touch the backbone area. Router six is an internal router. It's a router with interfaces only in an internal area. In other words, area two. So now that we know the router types, let's configure these routers. These routers have just booted up and have no configuration. So I'll bypass the initial configuration of the routers so that we can configure them manually. So on router one, this is the router on the left-hand side. I'm gonna configure interfaces in these subnets as per the diagram as well as configure a loopback on the routers with a IP address of the router name. So this is router one, so we'll configure the loopback as follows. So do show IP interface brief shows us the IP address is configured on the router. Now this router will only run EIGRP. So we'll configure EIGRP on this router in this example in autonomous system 100. And I'm gonna configure EIGRP on all interfaces of the router. I'll also turn off automatic summarization. So do show IP EIGRP interface shows us that EIGRP is enabled on the gigabit 00 interface and the loopback interface. Here's router two configure a host name of router two, go onto the gigabit zero interface, no shut it and give it an IP address of 10.1.1.2 slash 24 mask, interface gigabit zero one, IP address 10.1.2.1 slash 24 mask, and I'll create a loopback of quadruple two. Now this router needs to run 
two routing protocols. Firstly, it needs to run EIGRP, and I want to enable EIGRP only on gigabit 00. So notice the EIGRP neighbor relationship has come up. So do show IP EIGRP neighbor shows us the neighbor relationship. Now do show IP interface brief shows us that the IP address configured on gigabit 00 is this 10.1.1.2 and do show run pipe section EIGRP shows us that we've only configured EIGRP on that interface. Now I'll enable OSPF in this example on 10.1.2.1. This is the gigabit 01 interface and I'll configure it in area one. So do show IP OSPF interface brief shows us that OSPF is enabled on gigabit 01 in area one and process ID one. Process ID was this number, area number we configured over there. After a while, we'll see the state go to DR if we don't configure router three quickly, but I'm not gonna do that right now. Router two is an autonomous system border router. We need to do what's called redistribution from one routing protocol to another. So basically we need to translate, if you like, or import routes from one routing protocol into another. This is very similar to translating a language like French into English or English into Spanish. We are gonna translate routes from one routing protocol into another. Often as it is in the real world, when you translate from one language to another, you can lose meaning. So sometimes words in one language don't quite mean the same thing in another language. And that's true when you do redistribution. EIGRP supports different metrics or different ways of determining the best route when compared to OSPF. So when we redistribute EIGRP into OSPF, we can change what's called the seed metric. OSPF will set it by default. We can also change the default cost of a route that's redistributed. EIGRP uses bandwidth and delay to determine the best route. OSPF doesn't understand that. It only understands bandwidth. So you typically need to specify a seed metric when you redistribute routes into a routing protocol. OSPF has a default, but notice when we redistribute OSPF into EIGRP, we're gonna wanna specify a metric and you'll often see the metric written something like this. So we are taking routes from OSPF and advertising them into EIGRP, and we're also advertising routes from EIGRP into OSPF. That's what an area border router does. Now at the moment, I've only enabled OSPF on gigabit 01 and EIGRP on gigabit 00. What I'll do with a loopback is advertise that into OSPF. So I'll advertise this network into OSPF. So now when we use the command show IP OSPF database, you can see different LSA types in the database. We've got what's called LSA type one or router LSA. At the moment, we only have one router in the database. We have LSA type two or summary LSAs. Now I did make a mistake here. Notice I put that interface into area zero. I actually wanna put that into area one, hence, us seeing area zero and area one in the link state database. So I'm gonna remove that from area zero and put that into area one. So show IP OSPF database. We only see area one in the database for type one and type two LSAs. Type one is once again router LSAs, type two our summary LSAs, and we have what are called type five LSAs. These are routes that came from a different routing protocol. In other words, they were redistributed by an 
ASBR, or Autonomous System Border Router, into OSPF. And that's what Router 2 is doing in the topology. So at the moment, if we type show IP route, we will see the loopback of Router 1 in the routing table as a EIGRP route. And on Router 1, we see the loopback of Router 2 advertised into EIGRP as an external route. It was redistributed from OSPF into EIGRP, and that's also true for this route. So those are called external routes. They came from a different routing protocol. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.